This big fluff ball, everything that's going on there, is getting taken care of right now. Gonna go in, get a haircut, and then we'll continue on with our day. I've been waiting on a package for the last couple days, and I'm really excited, especially anybody that loves competitive Call of Duty. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know about, and I'm gonna expose a lot of people today. Well, the video is gonna be tomorrow, but I'm gonna show you what I got. It's gonna be sick, I can't wait. Hopefully it comes in the mail. Chris just killed it. Was cutting my hair for like an hour. I gotta show everybody the beard though. Yeah. You gotta give me the backstory on that. How long did that take? Uh, it's just up to here. I just took it down two weeks ago. It was a one and a half. Actually, this number right here. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's growing back out Bro, now. Bro, how do you... You gotta put something in there to get it like that? I use um, Layright. Layright? Yeah. Okay. So I use my hair sometimes, but... The Seagull stash is, I go the chips out, you know? Hey, all right, man. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for the cut, bro. I appreciate it. Sure. My man absolutely crushed it. I was in there for like an hour and a half. I got like the hot shave, old fashioned with the towel on my face. It felt great, honestly. Like it's the small things that add up to the bigger picture that make your days even better. So for me, I'm feeling really good about it. It's so nice out, man. I got the windows down, riding through Santa Monica. It's like 80 degrees. I gotta have the windows down, bro. It's perfect. Bryce and Tiller bumping in the background. Doing it right. It's time to eat. I need to fuel this body. Chipotle it is. This is the worst parking lot in all of LA, so you know I want Chipotle when I'm coming here and parking my car. Well, I just choked. Coming out. Drop the bag. Salsa is spilled all over inside, man. I tried to salvage some for the chips I'm gonna eat with it, but damn, man. You gotta be kidding me, bro. God, bro, that's like my favorite part. Just a tiny little bit of salsa on every chip that you eat. Damn it. Let me just say this. The only reason why I'm showing you guys how disgusting this apartment has gotten is so that you guys can see how dope it looks when it's actually clean. So this is how bad it's gotten. Before I start cleaning though, I just realized I've been waiting on a package all day. And honestly, it's going to change the way that you guys perceive certain Call of Duty players. There's things that happen behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know about that can actually change the way you experience and the way that you interact with other players on Call of Duty. So I've been waiting for this package for a couple days now i'm gonna go downstairs see if it's here it says it's delivered but it's not in my mailbox so i'm not sure if there's an issue with the post office or what's going on but i'm gonna go look real quick because i think you guys are really gonna love this yes darling the packages have arrived i'm so excited we're gonna open these in a little bit first like i said i gotta clean the apartment but i think you guys are gonna like this one a lot this one you're not gonna care at all about but this one is really really dope all right guys we made a ton of progress on the apartment i'm not completely done yet but i want to show it to you now because we still have a whole lot of packages over here to open up some more came while i was cleaning and i know one of these for sure will blow your guys's mind so let's get to that let me show you the apartment real quick okay okay so we're gonna move to the living area here obviously the table has been cleaned up blankets have been folded Pillows have been fluffed and all that good stuff. I think the biggest problem for me was the kitchen. The kitchen was extremely dirty, had garbage all over it. I got my towels folded. I still have to organize a bunch of these jackets and stuff. But overall, the apartment just looks so much better. I need to get rid of this love sack, dude. As much as I love it, it's just way too big and takes up so much space. Um, so I need to get, I, I, I need to find a place for it really, really soon. But but the apartment's looking clean. I'm feeling really good about it. So let's open these packages now. All right, let's get into this. Uh, I actually have no idea what this is. So I think I'm gonna open this first. I know what most of these things are, but I have no idea what this is actually. An Intel compute stick, ultra slim computer, Transforms any HDMI display into a fully functional computer. Plug and play computing right out of the box. Oh, so I can plug this into my TV and use this as a computer. That's actually really, 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 really dope. Holy cow. Windows 10, I like it. Windows 10 gets a bad rap. I actually love Windows 10. Jesus Christ, man. This thing is on lockdown, all right. What are you, what are you, what are you? Recon. Recon Jet, the world's most powerful wearable computer built for sports. What the fuck? Oh my God, what are these? 
You so what? You put them on and dude. Am I like living in the future? What are these, bro? Okay. Can I pull glasses off? Can I pull it off? Yes, no, maybe so. What do you guys think? Possibly, I don't know. Dude, I think you turn these on and like a heads up display comes on. We gotta try these out. Thank you. I don't know who is sending me these things. I don't even recognize the company that sent them. But there's one more big box for them. So I have no, like, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to see what's inside this one because if that cool stuff was in that, what's gonna be in the big box? Why is it so heavy? Uh, oh my God, what is this? Oh, no way. I see a logo. Open up. Oh my God, it is. Can't tell already by the logo. Somebody has sent me an Alienware computer. Oh my God, what the heck? Who, I, like that is the craziest part about all of this. I don't know who, I actually, you know what? I did a project for Intel at CES and I think they sent me these things. Like that's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure this is from Intel. Thank you very much, Intel. Oh my God, I, this just like came out of the blue. A, a freaking Alienware laptop? Like, are you serious, bro? Military laptop. Yo, this is so dope. All right, I gotta check this out. It's got an i7 in it. I can see right there that it does. Thank you very much, Intel. I appreciate you. I am gonna have to test this bad boy out. I have a razor right now, but I definitely wanna turn this on and see what it's all about. Okay, this next one is the one that I think all you Call of Duty fans are gonna lose your mind over, all right? Well, I don't know if you guys are gonna lose your mind, but I think it's gonna be pretty shocking to some, and I'm excited to try it out myself. Yep, that's exactly what it is. This, guys, is the XIM4 and you're probably wondering how this relates to Call of Duty in any type of way. This is an adapter that allows you to use your keyboard and mouse while playing PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Most of you guys know this, but some of you guys don't. Whenever I'm streaming and we're playing in an online tournament and somebody says they got keyboarded or somebody on the other team is keyboarding, it means they're using a keyboard and a mouse with this adapter. Essentially, anybody that's using a keyboard or a mouse is gonna react quicker and have more precise aim than anybody that's using a controller. Those analog sticks cannot keep up with the free range of motion that you have with the mouse and it just allows anybody that's using a keyboard and mouse to have a huge advantage because you're playing against console players. So this is what a lot of competitive search and destroy players are using and nobody knows. Like this is not legal. This is not allowed in online tournaments, especially when you're playing on consoles because you have a clear advantage. It's essentially cheating. Uh, but I know a lot of casual gamers use these to play on their PS4. But in terms of the practice of using it in competitive Call of Duty, this is not fair. So we're gonna try it out tomorrow and see how good I can do in a lobby using this thing with a keyboard and mouse against console players. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I believe this is not something that you guys will be too interested in, but you might be because it's gonna make my videos a little easier to make. This is just a tripod so that filming my videos, like I said, could be easier and I can get better angles and do things a lot cooler than I'm already doing them right now. So for anybody that's a fan of tech, this is a Manfrotto, probably the best tripod that I've used so far in my six years of doing YouTube. So they are a little bit expensive, but I think the quality is worth the price and this is what I will be using for all of my shooting. And I think I have a smaller one coming in for traveling. So. Manfrotto is my jam, bro. You guys should definitely check it out. This is what you guys should be using if you have the money for it and if you're trying to get cooler shots for YouTube videos or anything that you're filming. And it is a bunch, a ton of sugar-free Red Bull. Sugar-free is my jam. It's my favorite flavor along with yellow. Uh, but they just sent me boxes and boxes of this stuff and this is what is in the other two boxes. So I don't think I'm gonna take the time to open them up. I wasn't sure what they were until I actually lifted up the box and, and could feel the weight to it. And uh, that's going to be it. Sugar-free Red Bull, Alienware computer, uh, damn cheating keyboard mouse for consoles, a tripod, and a bunch of other really, really cool stuff. So thank you to Intel, thank you to Red Bull, and then thank you to myself for purchasing all the other things. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's vlog. First off, I wanna say shout out to Intel for all the incredible tech gear. This isn't a sponsored video, so they just sent that stuff to me, and I think it was really, really cool because the Alienware laptop, along with all the other new cutting edge technology, is gonna be really dope to play around with. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another vlog. YouTube, we'll see you fudging later. Goodbye.